It says that Esteban is the only provider of an upstream component used by Nicole, and she is his only customer. It goes on to tell us that for each one unit Esteban sells Nicole, Nicole will use that in one unit of her final product. It gives us Nicole's inverse demand and both of their marginal cost. The first question says, if each maximizes profit individually, inverse demand for the upstream firm is PU equals 25 minus Q. It's a true or false question. So let's take a look. Well, for the downstream firm, we know the inverse demand, and we know the marginal cost for the downstream firm is Nicole's $10 of marginal cost plus some price that Esteban charges her, which we'll call PU. And we know that that price is something above $5. That's where the problem with double marginalization comes in, is they make Esteban's making some profit when he sells his product to Nicole. So from here, we're gonna set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost for the downstream firm. Keep in mind, usually I write out profit, I maximize it setting equal to zero. It's the same thing as setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So if you're not comfortable with it, write out profit and do it that way. But by this point, I hope you understand that marginal revenue set equal to marginal cost is the same thing. So marginal revenue is just 40 minus Q over two. Notice all we did to get from price, which was 40 minus Q over four to marginal revenue, or to get from here to here, all we did was double the slope. We went from one fourth Q to one half Q. Marginal cost we leave as 10 plus PU, and now we're gonna solve for PU. And we see that PU is equal to 30 minus Q over two, so this statement was false. The next question says, if they don't solve the double marginalization problem, quantity falls short of the jointly optimal level by 25 units. So we're gonna take a look at the one firm scenario where we have solved the double marginalization problem, and we're gonna compare that quantity to the two firm scenario. Well, one firm, this will be the jointly optimal level, We'll set inverse demand, or we'll have inverse demand for the downstream firm, and we'll find marginal revenue, and we'll simply set it to our new marginal cost, which we know is just gonna be 10 plus five, or $15. Because with one firm, there's no reason Esteban's gonna charge a price higher than his marginal cost within the same firm. In this case, we get 40 minus Q over two equals 15. We can simplify Q over two equals 25, or Q equals 50. So now we need to look at with two firms, and this is the double marginalization problem. Well, we already know that the uh, in, inverse demand for the upstream firm is 30 minus Q over two. So we know the marginal cost for the upstream firm was five. So we can set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost for the upstream firm to solve. We get 30 minus Q equals five or Q equals 25. This statement is therefore true because we notice with one firm, they're selling 50, with two firms are selling 25 we have fallen short um, of, the optimal, of the jointly optimal level by 25 units. Now real fast, I found the quantity from the upstream firm. That's gonna, uh, in the second part, that's gonna be the same quantity that the downstream firm uh, is selling, right? Because if they're demanding 25 engines, they must be selling 25 cars. So just keep that in mind. The last question, I'm gonna go over this one, says, suppose that they form a single firm with an upstream and a downstream division, Optimal transfer pricing means the upstream division should be eternally evaluating by internally evaluated by valuing its output at the price it would have sold for if the firms had not merged. We know this is false, again, because if they had not merged, the price of the upstream firm would be something greater than the marginal cost of the upstream firm. And we know that if we're maximizing profit, we shouldn't do that. It should be equal to the marginal cost. The price the upstream firm transfers its output to the downstream firm should be equal to its marginal cost. So this one was false.